I wanted to be a teacher because I really enjoyed watching the aha moments in my students' eyes. Like, I get to come into the classroom every day and I get to explore with kids. Having those moments with my students where we are making those discoveries together. I like getting my kids to that point where they're starting to question. Mr. Winter's class is very eventful. You walk into class and you don't really know what you're going to do that day. He keeps me motivated. That's what it's like to, to, to work with, with Jeremy Windsor. He, he, he challenges you and he just, he just wants the best. He wants us to be the best. He will push you, but he will push you to the extent of, I know you can do it. So he will answer questions with questions so that you know that you're learning and you're teaching yourself in a way. And then everything we do ties back into Salmon Release. Our Salmon in the Classroom program um, starts in our eighth grade. They pick up their salmon eggs, they bring their eggs back to the school, and like it's game on from here on out. Our kids will raise those eggs throughout the school year. They usually hatch um, around Thanksgiving time. We got to see them hatch, we got to see them grow up, and then we got to see how they're going to come back to where they need to be in order to respond. His commitment level to, to his home school district that he grew up in um, it's just impressive and it's one that uh, leads him to do a lot of the innovative uh, activities and programs that he's developed for our students. I think the big thing is the community aspect in this small district and, and knowing the, the community as a whole. We just have, we have great communities and we have a fantastic board of education. It does take a full team effort. Our district is located in a very small, tight-knit community. Whenever we are looking for community support, whether it be a fundraiser for our PTO or something as big as building a greenhouse, our community is all in and they always support us. They ask about the Salmon Project. Uh, community members ask about the greenhouse. Um, they ask about what things he's doing next, what ideas he's got. Also getting that opportunity to work with some of the people that developed me as a student here. When I had Jeremy as a student, he was very interested in the outdoors. He's always been a hunter. You know, that grew into caring for the environment. And I think that's why he is so successful with environment and science uh, with our high school students. So currently working with Jim, uh, I actually can think back to a number of different lessons that I had uh, in his classroom uh, that I think back on often about what am I doing to engage my kids? How am I engaging my students in the classroom to help them to grasp the concepts that I'm doing, but also getting them a little bit curious, building that inquiry. It's really cool to be able to see other teachers collaborating in the hallways, being able to talk to like another teacher about math or something and them knowing what's going on because they know what we're doing and then them being able to help in a different way. I, I think it's important for our kids to really see that learning in itself is not isolated to a subject matter. A scientist is going to have to write reports and they're going to have to be good at writing reports. We are going to work together as a department or as a team of teachers to help you best represent the information that you've learned in all of your classes. To have back-to-back -back regional teachers of the year, that's just something that we as a school district have just really celebrated. And, and Mr. Windsor and Mr. Goodspeed would be the first to say that they're an example of the people that work here. Being recognized as the Region 4 Teacher of the Year, it's a pretty powerful thing for our district, I think, and I think that's really my goal. My goal is to do what I can do to reinforce the fact that education is really important. My name is Carla Childers. My name is Emily. My name is Paul Hungerford. And I want to say thank you to all of my teachers at Fulton. And I am proud to support Michigan educators. And I am a proud Michigan educator. My name is Jim Goodspeed, and I'm a proud Michigan educator. My name is Jeremy Windsor and I'm a proud Michigan educator.